Any moment also, the Florida Governor Ron DeSantis gives an update on the state's investigation, the state's investigation into the assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Uh, second one, just over two months' time, as we're learning stunning new details about the suspect and what he told the judge yesterday. So, good morning. It's a big couple of hours coming up, and I'm Bill Hammer live here in New York City. Here good we go. Good morning. Again. I'm Dana Perino, and this is America's Newsroom. We have election news mm -hmm. to tell you all yes. about as well. So, a big day today. Let's get you this news. The former president already back on the campaign trail today following the foiled shooting at his golf club on Sunday afternoon. For his part, the former president remains undaunted as he describes the moment the shots rang out. It was quite something, but it worked out well, and Secret Service did an excellent job. And uh, they have the man behind bars, and hopefully he's going to be there for a long time. Dangerous person, very, very dangerous person. Hey, so we're also getting new body cam video. Have you seen this from Martin County, which is just north of Palm Beach, showing the arrest of the suspected would-be assassin and startling new details now emerging. Perhaps one of the bigger headlines, the feds revealing the gunman may have been lying in wait for nearly 12 hours. Senator Marco Rubio is standing by on the growing threats of political violence ahead of the election. But first, let's get to Dana Marie McNichol. She is live in West Palm Beach. She has more on the suspect and the investigation. Dana Marie, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Well, as you mentioned, Governor Ron DeSantis getting ready for that press conference. He has said that he doesn't think federal agencies that are trying to prosecute the former president here in South Florida are the people to turn to to get answers about what happened on Sunday. We should get some clarification about that state investigation coming up. But let's get to that newly released body cam video footage that shows 58 year old Ryan Ruth moments after he was arrested on the highway. Now, this was after he fled the golf course when Secret Service spotted him. We also learned his cell phone records show Ruth was camped outside the course for nearly 12 hours yesterday with food and a rifle before those agents confronted him. FBI did confirm yesterday he never had a line of sight to the former president. The FBI also said they're determined to provide answers. They have interviewed seven civilian witnesses as well as speaking with people close to Ruth to determine a possible motive. Now, Ruth previously lived in Greensboro, North Carolina area before moving to Hawaii this year. Police in Greensboro says they had over 100 interactions with Ruth, who constantly broke the law. It was almost like blatantly saying, here I am, and it doesn't matter. So he would be constantly pulled over. In 2002, Ruth barricaded himself inside his business with a fully automatic rifle after being pulled over. He was then charged with possession of a weapon of mass destruction. Ruth's extensive social media presence regularly called out politicians, including Trump. Last year, in an apparent self-published book, he reportedly called for Iran to assassinate the former president. Ruth is facing two federal firearm charges. Possession of a firearm by convicted felon and possession of a firearm with obliterated serial number. Now, these two charges are initial charges to keep him custody. More may be added later. And back out here live, the Palm Beach County Sheriff said the security at Mar-a-Lago, which is just about a 15-minute drive from where I'm standing here at Trump International, is at the highest level it possibly can be, road closures, checkpoints. We're also waiting to hear from Governor Ron DeSantis again on that state Florida investigation about what happened. So we're standing by on that. All right, Dana, Dana Marie, Bill. thank you. So the neighbors of Ruth are describing his past behavior, saying the writing was on the wall uh, for this kind of violent incident. Here's some of that. Kind of like a strange guy. Behaviors were just really strange. Like he'd walk past here really quickly, like I said before kept pace with me for no reason. He was very, like I said, jumpy, reserved, didn't really speak out loud too much, and um, didn't come off as a political person at all. It just seemed very, like, kind of dangerous. Were you surprised? Um, I really didn't. No, I wasn't surprised. So the rap sheet is about a mile long. Uh, his scrapes with the law go back for decades, including dozens of run-ins with police. Uh, throughout his time as an adult, Dana. His life spiraled downward. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.